So then guys, we're back at mum and dad's today for the final installment of their shower enclosure makeover. I think we've done four or five videos on this already. So if you haven't watched those yet, pop over to the channel, you'll be able to find them. We've put shower lifter pumps in. I've shown you how to put the walls up, how to first fix for the valve, how to do the waste. There's loads of information there for you. There's also going to be a link to its.co.uk and I'm going to be giving you an exclusive voucher code that you must use before the end of the month to get a 30 pound goodie bag added to your order. So let's get on with this video and you can watch us pop this enclosure in to finish it off and make it all look lovely. Remember to hold tight. Also learn more about the plumbing in your home using our interactive house. And if you're looking for a plumber to do this work for you, pop over to our website and search find your plumber. Right then, so shower screen's going in now. First thing you've got to do is read the instructions fully through. Read them all the way. Don't miss anything out. It's just horrific if you don't do that. Because it doesn't say in the drawing that you should measure in 15 millimeters from the edge of your shower screen on these ones. It says it in the literature so under the drawing on that big paragraph that you just want to ignore is where all the really important shit is um, so make sure you read that the screen that i'm fitting is an eight millimeter roman shower screen so this is hardcore all right they're heavy really well built they've got a new way of putting things together i'm just going to be interested to see what happens here so let's get on with it so having read the instructions and got everything right, the first thing I'm gonna do is measure in from the right hand corner 15 millimeters. That's where I'll put my profile and then I'll use a spirit level and my profile to mark the holes. I felt tip, Dad. Downstairs, yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you want it, yeah. Tilt, Dad, we might wanna put those on now actually. I realised at this point it was a good idea to pop the end profiles on because obviously once we're screwing the side part of the shower screen on that might pull that wall panel a little bit tighter and we won't be able to put the end panels on. The reason I'm doing this now dad is that when I start tightening up these profiles the gap that I've left at the back is going to tighten up. You won't get in. Yeah. yeah. While I'm doing that, I just want to let you know you can now join the AL Army for live streams on YouTube. Just click the Join Now button below this video or click the card that's appearing now. I'm doing a live stream this morning at 9 o'clock directly after this video goes live. So click on that, join the right tier and get involved. See, leave those little spaces there. Made that miles easy, didn't it? Oh yeah, but I'm not going to fall on this. Real bad. Yeah, that little bit there. But then that yeah, part. trying to push that in. Prize like what, what most people probably end up having to do is cut the back profile off of the standing off and then yeah, just glue yeah, it off. Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> Defeats the object, really, don't it? Yeah. Uh, right, okay, that's done. Okay, right, I've got a, uh, just want to see what screws I've supplied with this. So I got that side panel on, and this is the great thing I really like about these shower screens, is you're putting that side panel on first, then you can build up the whole quadrant away from where you're putting the side panel in, but the quadrant you really, really have to look into. One of the things I really liked about the quadrant is they now have kind of an easy connection, similar to kind of flat pack furniture, where you can push in your bottom rails onto the side profiles and just with one twist of a screwdriver, tighten all that up and do it. I'm not gonna show you the full ins and outs of doing this because every quadrant is different and I have done an in-depth video already on installing Roman's shower screen quadrants. All I'd say is that they're really, really well made and that's shown by how heavy they are and to make sure that you've got someone to help you do it so you don't get anything wrong, but also to help you lift it. And the last thing I'd say is read the instructions again and again and again and again. Make sure you're getting this right. Yeah, so it's all about keeping it reasonably square. Yeah. So lift it up, have you got it? Yeah, not yet. Okay. Well, let's get it over to it. Oh, dad, look at that. Well, 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 before we begin, let's find out about this insane ITS deal, and you can also see me in my pants. Let's have a look. Sorry to interrupt the video, guys. Look at my sexy body. The ITS Black Friday sale is now on, with hundreds of unbelievable deals on workwear like trousers, worktops, and boots, plus hand tools and power tools from leading brands including Makita, DeWalt, and Milwaukee. Order up until 7 p.m. for next day delivery direct to home or your site, and don't forget to check back every Friday in November when even more deals will be added. There's over 200 unmissable deals, and this must end December the 7th. Plumber Parts viewers will receive a 
goodie box worth over £30 when they place an order of over 50 quid. Just use the promo code PLUMBERPARTS. I've left a link in the description below, so pop over to ITS, fill up your shopping basket with what you need, use the promo code PLUMBERPARTS, and with next day delivery, you'll have all the products you've ordered, plus the £30 goodie box delivered directly to your door or site. Anyway, let's get on with the video. That's tight, but if I get on, on that, you're gonna have to cock it. That's it, cock it a bit more. That's it. Stay away from the tray. Yeah. All right. You need to put your end in, can you? Right, I'll just One. I'll go inside the tray now. Okay, okay you ready? Yeah. All right, so just drop that there. What you want to do here is get the bottom profile and just pinch it a little bit with your fingers and then try and slip it into the outer profile because the profile that's fixed to the shower screen is male, the outer profile on the wall is female. So that's how you always have to do it. I'm doing it from the top because sometimes it's easier, but you can do it from the bottom. Once you've done that, the whole profile will guide in. Now we extend out the other side profile and there's usually a little bit of jiggery pokery here just to make sure that you've got everything square because if the profile comes out on this side it probably means that you haven't got it quite square yet but we haven't fixed anything down remember the only fixed point is that other profile on the right hand side so now we've got everything lined up looking good and then all we need to do is mark the holes down on the other profile drill them in and then fix our shower screen to the two profiles at each side and then it'll be done. So you can see there, the fun and joy of doing that, it's not easy, it's uh, difficult work. So how we've done this is, that is our fixed point. We move in on here, we get this to where we need it, then we, we jiggery pokery for quite a long time. Uh, and then we screw these points in here, this gets sealed, the door gets hung, everything gets leveled up and then we're done. That should be it, hopefully. For these jobs you always attach the rollers for the door away from where you're going to hang it so then when you bring your door in you can just hang it on the top bar then you push your spring loaded rollers into the bottom bar and then it's just a matter of adjusting so it closes and opens nicely holds back without getting too naughty. This can take a good half an hour and also you kind of want to let it settle as well. I think the old man did a little bit more adjusting a couple of hours later as well or maybe he was just fixing my adjustments. Cheeky old dad. But once that's done, all that's left for me to do is to try and say to you that I'm about to do some silicon in. Here we go. Right, I'm now going to do all the um, silicon in round with a little bit of... Um, bloody hell, what's happened to my brain? Um, transparent. So I'm going to go around there with that. That's the next job. Oh, it's going well though, I'm really pleased with it. Usually with this port type of silicon in, I have a much smaller bead size, so that's kind of all I really go on on this is just a smaller bead size uh, and all that. And then I've got a bit of a gap to fill in around the bottom there, which is going to be wicked, but difficult. I'm listening to Louis Theroux's, we've got to get Theroux this on, um, I put it on the old like Amazon books thing that I listen to, so check it out if you get a minute, it's good. Nice little one to listen to at work. Also, I'd say at this stage, just read the instructions again as to where you should be siliconing. You should always be following their siliconing instructions throughout the install, but a lot of people get this bit wrong by siliconing up on the inside and on the outside. And if you've got any condensation or leaks, that can get trapped down inside the workings of the shower and cause black blemishes underneath your silicon or actually affect whether the shower enclosure works properly or not. So then guys, all done. I've just let all the silicon dry out overnight and I have been testing the shower. Of course I have, here you go. Look at that. Get water everywhere, but that is exactly, mum and dad are gonna be absolutely chuffed with that. Uh, it runs down. Now listen, listen to see if you can hear the Stuart Turner pump. There you go. It's running now, downstairs. So much better than this one. Listen to this one here. This is another manufacturer as well. Let me turn this tap on. Listen. Hello, you. <laughs> yeah. All right, shut up. Just gonna wait for that to stop. Come on, damn you. <sighs> so there you go. Um, what would I say? What would I say when it comes to doing this sort of job? Just take it easy. Get everything back to where it should be. Ignore the macerator that's running next to you. Um, and just take it slow. It's not 100% straight away sort of job. 
these sorts of jobs are get that down, then wait for it to dry, come back another day sort of work. Um, but just take your time, take it easy, make sure you pressure test everything on the pipe work before you put anything over, that's really important. When you're doing your silicon in, I'd say the big thing is to make sure that everything is clean and dry, no dust at all, so really hoover around, spend a lot of time making sure that that's clean. Um, and then, yeah, just, just take it easy, take it slow. And when it comes to a shower door, read the instructions. Don't just look at the pictures because the pictures can be misleading on these. That's all I'd say. It's so important because if you don't, you get this wrong. So look, I hope you've enjoyed this little series of videos on how to do this. Um, it has been good fun working down here, getting all this sort of stuff sorted out. Really pleased with how this has gone. Mum and dad are happy. Hopefully I'll still be written into the inheritance. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next video. If you've got any questions, comment them below. Um, and you never know, I might do a little comments answered video in the middle of the week. Anyway guys, thanks very much for watching and remember to hold tight. See you soon.